Hello everyone, this is Dr. Anand. In today's video tutorial, I would be explaining the difference between unique count and count, which is available in the aggregate node function. So let me take you to my nine platform. So first and foremost, I have to use my file reader and I have to drop it into my workspace. Now let me right click, let me configure, let me browse for my file. I'm going to the place where my files are there. I already have a collected data which is pertaining to customer credit card information. I will explain what are all the different components which are available with this particular data sheet. I'm clicking apply, I'm clicking OK. The file is ready to be executed. I'm executing it, it is executed. I'm going to the file table. So you can see that these are all the different items which are available in this data sheet. So we have customer age, then we have gender, we have a dependence, which are nothing but the family members who are dependent on the consumers. We have educational qualification, we have marital status, we also have income category, and we also have card category. So apparently the card category has been bifurcated into three, blue, gold, and silver. So likewise, we have uh, different other classifications for different elements. So now, when we have to perform the aggregate to find the unique count and the count, we have to use this node, which is called group by. I'm going to my node repository and I'm going to type group and automatically these nodes are getting popped up, which is group by node. I'm dragging and dropping my group by node into my workspace and connecting my file reader with my group by now it's not ready because we have to configure i'm right clicking and i'm going to configure you have to go to this manual aggregation if you go to manual aggregation on your left hand side you can see all the different column items which are available so we have customer age gender dependent count education level marital status income category and card category so for example now i'm going to take income category or I'm, I can take even customer age. Let me take customer age. So after you add customer age into this particular menu, you can see under aggregation, the default menu is mean. Apart from mean, there are so many other things which you can consider. You have concatenate, you have correlation, you have count, you have covariance, you have etc. etc. But we want count. Again, I'm going to add the customer age and below that I'm going to take unique count. Right? Yeah. Why should we click missing value? Because it would avoid the missing values and it would take only that actual data which doesn't have missing values. So now I'm clicking apply. I'm clicking OK. It's ready to be executed. I'm executing it. It's executed. I'm going to my last menu that is group table. And now you can see the original count that is 10127 and the unique count is 45. What is the difference between count and unique count? So let us understand that. I'll give you a simple example. Unique count will only consider non-repeated items. For example, one, two, three, again, one, two, three, again, one, two, three, is considered to be nine, okay? But in case of unique count, all the repeated ones would be clustered together. So one, two, three will become one, again, one, two, three will again become one, and the remaining one, two, three will again become one. So one plus one plus one is equal to three. So this is the difference between count and unique count. So I hope this video tutorial was useful for you to understand the difference between count and unique count on the nine platform. Thank you so much.